hair. Um, last night, we, I did a challenge. And the challenge was to do full face makeup in seven minutes, three colors of shadow, and, um, but no tools. So no sponges, no brushes, all you have are your fingers. And speaking of fingers, see these COVID-19 nails? I don't wear my nails this long, but if I cut them, I usually, they're uneven, they look terrible. So I just keep hoping that I can uh, get in and get, my, get them done. I cut them once already because it's been since the beginning of February since I've had a manicure. Um, but anyhow, these could be the reason I kept dropping my eyelashes. So um, anyhow, so let's come back. I want to actually redo my challenge from last night, but I'm going to redo it because I think the look was good. I just think it needed a little tweaking. So I'm going to redo that and I'll show you all the products I'm using and um, why I'm using them, I hope. Uh, the lashes are really iffy because I haven't used lashes in 50 years. And I have, um, let's see, I've tried them with glue a couple of times. Uh, they landed here. They were in the middle of, I mean, it was just silly. Uh, so then I tried them with um, uh, the magnetic. And I tried one pair or one part of a pair and dropped it. Have no idea. Still to this day, I don't know where it is. And then I tried another one. And I trimmed it because it was too long. And I, I was trying to put it in to see if I could make it work and dropped it. And out of the blue, it showed up in the middle of the floor in this room the next day. I don't know. I came through this room with a magnet. My husband came through the room with a magnet. But at any rate, so we, we have two lashes. Uh, I have yet to make it work. It may not work today, but we'll keep some good thoughts. All right. So let me tell you about... Um, where I am. Um, I have a couple of challenges and I'm doing this because I'm hoping when we're through that my website will get some attention. Hold on a minute. I'm going to put a white towel. On. I'm putting a white towel on my lap so that if I drop a black mask, a black mad, uh, lash, I can find it. Anyhow, I am this close, this close to um, achieving a great goal with Lime Life. And I, I really, really want to hit it. And uh, it's for two one, two reasons. One is it's just a great sense of pride when you, you set a new record. But the other is everything I do with Limelight supports my gym. So uh, if you see something you like here, my website is can do, K-A-N-D-O, beauty, B-E-A-U-T-Y dot com. And or reach out to me and I can help you place an order. But uh, I'm trying to raise a thousand dollars in sales between now and the 30th or is it 31st, the end of the month. So hopefully somebody out there will need something. All right, uh, so let's get going here. Um, 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 um. Oh, I have to put some uh, primer on. Hold on a minute here. I had already done this last night. I usually get this done before I, I go live. The nice thing about this is it actually, hey Marla, um, visualize uh, the way uh, a foundation would go on to an orange. I mean, it's just kind of like if you have pores and I'm 72 and I have pores. So when I did my makeup last night, I just put it on my hands and did this and rubbed it all over my face. And you could, you could definitely see the pores. I worked them out, but you could see the pores. This actually helps minimize that. So uh, I always use this before I do makeup. I did not use it last night. Um, I was just nervous. I, I was just nervous. Uh, so a part of last night was I threw up, a, a, put out a, a vote and I said, pick the color. Ruby chocolate's my absolute favorite. And then there's cupcake. Of course, everybody picked cupcake. So I was bantering with a friend of mine. And um, I said, yeah, I, she said that color was awful bright. And I said, yeah, it was bright. But I put it up for a vote. And that's what everybody picked. I guess I lost. 
but I didn't lose. I love this color. I don't think we have a color you can't wear. I mean, they're all beautiful. They're all rich. Um, this this uh, is enduring lip color, which means it's long lasting. And I have worn all of them. And when I, I remember the first time I wore this and I wore it to work and I was expecting people to go, oh, what do you got on there? But I didn't get that. What I got was, wow, I love that color. So don't think that this color ties you into, hey, Sandra, this color ties you into uh, uh, that you can't do it because you can wear anything. It may be changing the color of your blouse or it may be combining that color with uh, mixing it with another color or putting some gloss on it or using a little concealer. And I'm going to do all that so you can see it. So when I, when I said in my, my comments that I lost the vote, I didn't lose. I didn't lose at all. That's actually the reason it's here. It's, it's one of my favorites. I just set them up. Anyhow. All right. So let's go. I'm so glad to see you guys on here. Hey, Sandra, thank you so much for that clip that you sent me. That was so darn cute. I'd like to have her on my team. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I've, I've primed my skin. And I'm instead of putting this in the palm of my hand, I'm going to use my foundation out of my, out of my palettes. And just to remind you, I am actually in between olive one and olive two. And I apologize for how messy these are because I dig it out and I mix it. I'm going to actually take... Yeah, let's do this. So this is olive two, olive one. And so I mix them together. And actually in, in the wintertime, olive one is plenty for me. So let me, so I, I just take some. Oh, by the way, so be, other than the, um, I'm going to use tools. The other restriction I won't have is I'm not going to have a timetable. So I don't have a limit. Last night, it was seven minutes. So you better get your lunch. This could be a while. So I put, I put the foundation on my, the top, the back of my hand. And the reason I do that is a wax-based foundation. It's the same thing makeup artists use. You cannot go wrong with this foundation. And it's so long lasting and it has, it's so pigmented and does such a good job of covering. All right, so let's go here. I'm just, all I'm doing is I'm warming it up. Okay, now, okay, so I want you to see something. See, can you see pores? Can you, can you see them? There's pores there. But there's ways of dealing with that. I use a sponge to deal with it. And all I do is go in and something that's really important. If you've not used this, there is a learning curve with this foundation. Blending is critical. It is with any makeup, actually. Look how beautiful that is. See how, how beautiful it covers? Look how far it's going. I've just tapped on the back of my hand. All right, let's get that nose. I um, was 69, going on 70, when I decided to join Life Life. I had a, I had a business already, I had my gym, which was uh, plenty, plenty of work for me. Hey, Ashley. Uh, but I thought, you know what? I'll get my makeup wholesale. And I did, I do. That's one of the great things about joining Lime Life. No one ever put any pressure on me to hit quotas. More pressure comes from me than them. I, I never went out and sold it. I just, people were asking me what I was using and I'd tell them. And that's the beauty of doing something like this. You don't have to have it as a full-time business. You don't have to go out and promote. You can just talk. People are going to notice the difference. They notice, I, I didn't do anything with makeup for the first four four months I was I was with Lime Life. I just talked about skincare because it's so spectacular. 
Didn't they tell you to bring your lunch? Anyhow. There we go. Now, we're going to use some concealers that I didn't use yesterday. Actually, I'm going to try something here. Oh, I'm going to go. Oh, my God. Where are my brushes? All right. I just found one that I used, my concealer brush I used on my lipstick. So I'm going to clean it off here a little bit so I don't have lipstick on my, on my cheeks. So I have two colors. I have... Uh, zero, which is great for highlighting, and I have two, and I kind of bounce between two and three, and I use that. So see how you can see the folds in here? Just putting a little of this in. It doesn't remove the folds. It fools the eye. Okay, so see how, how deep and dark this is? but this one is diminished. That's what's great about these. Also, our concealers are waterproof. So if you're in an area where it's hot and it's humid, you could literally use your concealer as your, as your foundation and it will survive the swimming pool and the lake and the sweat and the... All right, let's get rid of this one. And again, let me emphasize, it doesn't take away the fold. It just hides it. It just de-emphasizes it. All right, I'm gonna do, so I have this lovely age spot over here, which is significantly less than it used to be because of the uh, skincare I've been using. I attribute this to One Drop Wonder and Sotox, without a doubt. All right. And pull this down here. I usually put some across the top of my lip too, particularly now that we're, we're with, COVID-19 and you can't, you can't see any of your personal groomers. And I have a personal groomer. <laughs> and right now it's um, DIY or DUI. I don't know. Do it yourself. DIY. That's it. So I've been trying to take care of all of it by myself. All right. So I've got my foundation on. The next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. So, um, hold on. I need, I need this. So I'm going to use our, our uh, brow brush, but I'm actually going to do a, um, here we go. I'm actually going to do a unibrow because I got to find it. Where's my? So these are the, some of the colors I bounce around with. And this is Taupe for the Best, number 40. And that is great for, you can use, I mean, I use it on my eyebrows, obviously. I mean, on my, it's an eyeshadow, so I use it as, as a shadow. But I also use it for my brows. I use shadow for my brows. We have an amazing brow pencil and brow gel. And we've got the brow gel in clear to um, uh, dark. So there's four colors. Now I have not had my brows done. So they are not looking as good as I would like them to, but I think I need a little bit more up here. There we go. Fill this in. So, anybody out there done the unibrow? Come on, somebody has had to have done the unibrow. I know I've got some beauty guides out there. Kellyanne, you've done the unibrow, haven't you? Ashley, haven't you done the unibrow? So, the idea behind the unibrow is it really isn't about attracting more viewers because you're doing something that looks absolutely ridiculous, and it does. I have to be honest. It's about balancing your brows. So your, your brows should actually come right here. 
See there? It should be on the nose side of your tear duct. That's where they should end. And the way to make that happen is by doing a unibrow. I have people who laugh at me for doing this and that's okay. I like to entertain people. So if this makes you laugh, I've done my job. But if you are challenged by your eyebrows being symmetrical, this is a great way to do it. So I have to tell you a funny story. Joe's going to kill me for this. So we're doing work on the gym. We're really, we really want to open up. And, um, but we want to make the space for our staff to be better and not uncomfortable. And we have a back office area that we thought all we needed to do was put a recliner in there for them to use on break and we would be good, solid citizens. Well, there was no, there was one, no ceiling and one wall just had um, uh, insulation on it. Nothing, just old dirty towel, tile on the floor. Come to find out, that isn't such a relaxing, oh, really bad lighting too. That's not such a relaxing space if you want to go and, you know, if you're between shifts and you want to just sit down and read or relax a little bit before you have to open up again. Silly me. All right, so let's look at the brows. I co I'll come back to this. I'll finish it. So I think I need a little bit more height here. Do you think they look? And in case anybody's worried, no, I don't plan on leaving this here. Anybody out there? Come on, somebody. Maybe I'm frozen and I don't even know it. So I do have areas that I don't have hair in. I've really thought about microblading because as you get older, you tend to lose, lose your eyebrows. The hair goes away. I've thought about it. It's pretty expensive. But maybe, no. There's something wrong here. This balance, this balance is off for me. It may just be that my arch here is crooked. All right, so here we go. Um, now I'm just going to take the, let's see, I'm going to, well, I still want to give these a little attention. So the next thing I want to do is take my concealer and I'm going to clean this up. So I take my zero, which is the lighter of the two, and I'm going to make sure I'm the nice thing about the concealer, it's such a great way to clean up any boo-boos. So I've used it for my lipstick. Obviously I use it for my brows. Anybody, anybody out there? Can I get some hearts or some thumbs up or something? I think I feel like I'm alone, even though I see people. Yeah, I think you need to really. All right. Now, I am going to.
going to take, this is a buffer brush, and I love these. I use these for a couple things. And I, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some concealer, and I'm just gonna go in here, and I'm going to blend out And I also use the concealer as a, a base for my, my shadow. So what do you think? Okay, for now, I do see a, so I can do touch up work here and like I need more here, hit the brush hit it. Hey Karen, you just missed the unibrow. Okay, just to remind you guys, I'm doing this because I did a, a, a live last night where I had seven minutes to do, um, full face makeup with three shadows. It was supposed to be uh, over the top makeup and um, no tools, no brushes, no sponges. The only thing you'd use is like this or your mascara, your eyeliner. Uh, those that require a tool, they have, they have a tool with them, but I couldn't use any of my other tools to put my makeup on. And with the, with my COVID-19 nails, it was a little on the challenging side. So I came back today to do the same look without those restrictions. So now I can use brushes and now I can use, you know, um, sponges and that's actually gonna help me a lot. But I wanted to show you the look when it's done completely. All right, so now let me see. I won't need that anymore. Let's get that out of the way. So, I have a huge challenge with uh, eyes. Uh, it's not my strongest point, but let me show you the palette I'm gonna use. I, I just threw it together last night and I actually ended up liking it. Look at these pretty colors. So I'm gonna clean up my brush. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm gonna clean up my brush and I'm going to start with the um, Gilded Lily, which is this one. I wear this one all the time, by the way, but I'm using it in a little different way today. So. And I'm blending it out. This is the brush I, I'm using. I actually have used a lot of the, the shadow brushes, but man, this one really, really works. See how it's getting all blended up here? So let's go over here. The big challenge is gonna be when I have to do those magnetic eyelashes. First of all, I have a natural tremor because I have epilepsy and it, it's just a part of it. And then with the COVID-19 nails, it's not easy holding on to those little things. And I know I could use tweezers. I just, I don't know enough about this stuff yet. I'm just decided that I watched one of my teammates do her magnetic lashes live first time out. And I went, hell, if she can do it, I can do it. All right, so let's see. I like that. Uh, all right, so I'm going to clean my brush. And, God, I'm torn. Let's see what this looks like. So I'm gonna use the silver up here. And let's see. <sighs> hmm. I'm not sure I wanna do this, but. I can always change it. That's the nice thing about makeup. You honestly cannot. Hey, Felicia, you cannot make a mistake. Everything can be fixed. All you need is patience. And I'm bringing that all the way up. 
but you don't want lines showing. So you, blending is really important. It's about putting the brush down and leaving it there and just keep working the color up. All right, so next is going to be the color. I just, I love this color. I never wear it. And that's a Danessa color. Felicia, I can't, re I can't remember which color that is. But I'm going to go here. Let me make sure it's tapped off. So you'll find a lot of our products are um, so pigmented. You can use them in a lot of different ways. And I was also told you should never beg, but here I am. I'm back again. Here's the deal. I own a gym. It's been closed since March 17th. We still have staff. Um, looks like it's going to be another month or two months before we can reopen. Everything I sell with Lime Life supports the club. That's one piece of it. The other piece is I'm that close, that close to a record. And I would really like to hit the record. It's just pride. And so my website is can do k a n d o beauty.com go on there anything you see today that you like feel free to place an order but do me a favor do it before the 30th this is a fundraising live that's that's what it is it's a fundraising live i'm not too proud help me you you can actually help me with two businesses my gym is a gym for women and uh we primarily service seniors. And they're, a, they're an amazing group of women. So if, if there's something you want to try, and remember, everything you get from Lime Life is risk-free. You have 30 days, you can return it, no questions asked. So, and if you have any questions and you need some help with that order, just message me. Or post a comment. We can, we can do a, a Zoom or um, I can help you out with it. Whatever way works best for you. I want more color. This isn't, oh, there we go. That's what I want. This is aggressive for me. Oh, it's so aggressive for me. But I'm getting to where I really am having fun because you can wash it off. This is not like you get your hair cut too short. You don't have to wait for it to grow out. All right, Felicia, tell me, do I need more color there? Is that, does that, what do you think? Felicia's a pro makeup artist. I also, re I also suggested in the beginning that you guys pack your lunch because I don't have a time limit on this live. I can take all the time I want. Yay. All I need to do is get, talk you guys into hanging around for it. All right, I'm going to... I think I need to have something lighter. Let me do this. I'm going to go in here. Actually, I think I'll use my concealer for the top. So I'm just gonna use my concealer up here to give a little highlight, brighten this up here. So most of my life, all I did with my makeup was I use some shadow I don't think I ever did eyeliner. Mascara, of course, blush, foundation, but I had to be shown how to use it because I honestly was afraid of it. And to be doing stuff like this now, wow. All right, I actually want to, hold on, I want to get, so I'm taking a little of the Gilded Lily and I'm gonna put it down here.
actually, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to place it. on my water line. Oh yeah. And now I'm going to take a little of the Oh, I hope it looks good. Does it look good to you guys? All right, I'm going to just trying to see if I still have signal. It's so quiet out there. All right, so now I'm going to um, just tight line my eyeliner, and then I'm going to try and do the liner for my lashes. So... This, this technique is particularly good for if you have hooded eyes. You don't want to be putting eyeliner on your eyelid because then you won't see any of your shadow. So all you do is, this is our, um, it's like a gel uh, eyeliner pencil. And just to show you, I mean, it just really goes on real smooth and it'll last 24 hours. You cannot cry this stuff off. Look at the difference just from putting it underneath it looks like i have liner on i have to put liner on because i want to do the hey peg i have i want to do the the lashes so i found when i was doing liner um because in the beginning i wore liner all the time and i found what was happening is I was bringing it too far down, it was making me look really tired, and I didn't want to look tired. <sighs> I cannot tell you how nervous I am about this. These lashes. Let's do the lashes last. <laughs> I'm gonna do the lashes last. Let's let's just keep going. But maybe I'll put one layer of the liner on because it's gonna. You've got to put two or three layers, and it's got to dry. So, and you got to shake it up. But let me see if I can do this. And I'm going to take my mirror. if I have to say, shake it every time. Like I said, first time. Oh God, I cannot believe this stressful this is. I'm sweating out from under my shirt. And my shakes are starting to show. go for now and I'll put another coat on. All right, I'm gonna let that sit. We'll move on. <sighs> stress, stress. Okay. So now I want to do, I'm gonna do some, um, I'm going to take a drink. Trang, it's so good to see you. I haven't talked to you high in years. Trang, who is on this, watching me, is uh, we used to work together. She's an amazing woman. 
<laughs> Probably still is. It's just that we haven't uh, we haven't worked together in a long time. All right, so I am actually using concealer number six, and I use that for contouring. And so all I do is I go from the ear towards towards the the towards your mouth, but I don't go beyond here. So this is just for. So how many of you are still like isolated? Are you still are you still quarantined? I know that ours is actually turning around. We were I, they were starting to open up and and I think the governor's rethinking that because the number of cases here in California have grown so much. All right. And then I'm going to use because I'm older and I've got some jowls here and I want to use the the contouring to try and again fool the eye it doesn't remove it it just fools the eye and I'm going to do just a little of this to narrow the nose a little bit don't want it on top just want it a little bit on the side and let's go up here now you're going oh my god what is she doing Trust me, this will be great when I'm done. Trust, you just have to trust me. Keep the faith. All right, so now I have put my, and I actually think I want to do a little brown under that, under my eyes, but for now. So, and now I want to take my other concealer, my Zero, and, um, Make sure the eyes focused on this. So I want to brighten my eyes a little bit. Oh, that's not concealer. That's foundation. That's not concealer. It's not concealer. It's shadow. Here we go. Hold on. There we go. So I take my my zero concealer. Look at that, I have, hmm. And I want to put a little bit here and bring up a little bit right here and right in, right in here. And I'm going to blend out the edges here. So I, I put on um, my powder before I do my um, blush and my bronzer because when you put your powder on, it actually makes it a really good surface. So the color doesn't grab in one spot. And so then you have to work to, to blend it out. And where is my, I have this. Let me get this out of the way for now. So I set a goal for myself, and this is going to sound so frivolous. <sighs> Don't. Hey, Lisa. It's good to see you. Um, so we were on a, a a live last night, and we were talking about goals. And um, by the way, I used I used two of our color powders. One is um, the lightest, and I use that for these areas. Anyhow, we were talking about goals and, and you have to you have to see yourself and journaling and you have to see what you want and, and believe it and write it down and so I have this I have this silly desire. It's not silly. But it is because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just, you know, I want a sleigh station. 
Okay, I need to know who knows what a sleigh station is out there. Anybody know what a sleigh station is? Come on. Okay, so now I'm going to use my... The beauty of these color powders, they're milled really fine. So if you have lines on your face, pores, this really helps conceal them. Uh, they uh, actually... Um, when this was developed, it was developed only for professional makeup artists because what was happening with all the high definition photography and video, everything was showing. Before we had high definition, there wasn't a problem, but now everything was showing. So it was created by Dior, but it's only released to them, to their makeup artists. It's not released to, it's not available to the woman on the street. So it is through us. And it is an excellent, excellent powder. All right, so got that. Now let's do some, uh, oh, let's do another, let's do another eyeliner. <laughs> this is so stressful, let's just get this done. And then I'll put my blush and my bronzer on. Last thing we're gonna do with the lashes. It just dawned on me, wow. I'm sorry, it looks great from here. All right, come on, baby, get this done. All right, my left, left eye is the hardest for me. Oh God, this is a mess. It's a mess, it's a mess. All right, so my powder's on and now I'm gonna go to my bronzer and my blush. And then I'm gonna do my lips and then we're gonna do lashes. All right, so again, I just wanna point out, by the way, our brushes are fabulous and this is number uh, 18, I use this constantly. And um, this happens to be the blush that I use. And I'm just going to go in and put it in here, just like follow my contour. So you can get all these products from me, or if you don't want these products and you just need some skincare, it, everything is available on Can Do. Uh, which is K-A-N-D-O beauty.com. And I remind you, I am that close to a record month and all of that goes to my gym to support it. But it's also a matter of pride. I would love to hit that number, especially with the gym closed because it just means that much more that I can, um, I can bring to the business and that we can make sure the staff continues to be paid. I'm just gonna brush this out a little bit. All right. All right, now I need, how about, I'm gonna use, oh, let's get a, I want, hold on a minute, hold on. I've got, let me see if this is open or empty. Oh, good. All right, so. This is just, this is just some of our shadows. And I think today I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use three, I think, yeah. Let's, so I have, where is my brush that I was just using? All right, oh, there it is. I'm gonna clean that brush up. So the two Iowa that I go between is I use this one and this one. And uh, this is Keen and this is Alive and I use those two. But occasionally I like to throw something new in. So I'm going to use number three here, which is number three is uh, possible. And I think anything's possible, especially my goal to get a slay station, not, not a play station. This is S-L-A-Y station. Look it up. 
it is my, this is my thing. I just, every day I say, Slay Station. I even had a conversation with my husband last night and this is not an inexpensive investment. And I said to him, Slay Station. And of course he said, Play PlayStation? No, Slay Station. So uh, we started talking about it and I realized I'm using it for business. It's a write-off. God, what? This is a good life. And then... We started talking about, well, wait a minute, could we take the business to another level? Could I, people who want to see the product, I could bring them here. We have a professional makeup station. Right now I have a four foot card table with a white board on it, but I have my beautiful Reiki mirror. Um, and we, I could actually have, they could have hands on because I have all the products. What do you think? Great, great idea. Come on, you guys go to my website. All right, uh, and if you want skincare, just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tag me or uh, post a comment and we can talk and we'll figure out what's best for you. All right, now, let's do lips. So, oh, there's new people on here. Hi, Allison. Is this Dennis or is this Dennis's? Is this Dennis that's on here? All right, so. So our liners are enduring, just like the, the lip color. Um, and it's long lasting. I used to always use the dark nude and, but, but now I, overline my lips to make them because I noticed when I had pictures taken it was like I was missing this lip here so I am actually on my skin oh god that's so I did this one time and I couldn't believe the difference. So if you've got if you've got thin lips, this is a possibility. All right, so let me get my where's my lip brush? I have so many things down here. I put it out so it'd be easier for me to find, and then there's so many things that I. All right, cupcake. Cupcake. All right, so we do have. I think this is called a doe's foot. So you could use it to line your lips. I like to have better control on the portion because that is a lot, a lot of lip color on that, on that tip. So I like to use, we have a great, it's probably the best lipstick brush I've ever used. Uh, it's number 12. It's called Bold Lip Brush. And it's, it really allows you to manage the color well. I notice that my teammates always do the bottom lip first and I always do the top lip. I'm not sure what that's about. So if you have used some of our products, there have been some that have been out of stock, but they are back. Um, that would be the lip scrub, um, the Do Confidence body oil. Oh God, it's fabulous. It's back in stock. Yeah, I wasn't getting enough color. I want this to... I want this to sparkle. Now, 
I'm going to play with this. First of all, I'm going to put another layer of liner for my... I want those suckers to hold on for dear life. All right. Let's put another well, layer of magnetic eyeliner. Do this. So the next challenge we're going to have is going to be, if I remember it correctly, to put your makeup on in 10 minutes, full face, with your non-dominant hand. So that would be, I'm right-handed, I have to do everything with my left hand. I only worry about my eyes when I'm doing everything with my left hand. All right, so that's on. Now, let's see what we can do with this color so that we can make it. I mean, I love it, but let's, let's, let's change it. Let's make it more interesting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Ruby Chocolate, which is my favorite color. I wear this almost every single day. It's such a great uh, neutral and it works on any skin tone. All right, so, oops, let me grab this. I wanna make sure I... All right, so I am going to Oh god. I guess my my eyelashes my stick to stick up top. Let me see if I can I don't want to put it on the whole lip. I just want to on the, like a liner. Now, let me clean this up. And then I'm going to take some concealer And, oops, wrong brush. I need my concealer brush for this. All right. Remember, this is just the concealer. that I use for um, my eyes. And all right, I am going to see if I can't lift that. All right. So when I did this the first time, it was, it was interesting trying to get. Trying to get the um, magnetic eyeliner off. Now, one last thing. I love this. I'm trying to think if I should. Yeah, I think I should. Put some gloss. This is called uh, Inspire. I like that. Yeah, that works for me. All right, so should we go to the biggest challenge? Um, 
Oh, God, no. That has lipstick on it. All right, here's the here's the challenge. I'm going to put my mirror over here. And I'm going to let me make sure my towel's up here so if I drop anything. Oh crap. I did it again. Damn it. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it just fell straight to <laughs> uh, God, I wonder if that's where it was to begin with. Okay, let's turn this so the magnet's not right on. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, that's so funny. All right, let's see if these work. No, the that needs to come over a little bit. Oh my God, I got him on. All right, I think I need to move this out just a little bit more. Remember the one time I did it, I said, just stay, just stay for 10 minutes, just long enough for me to do a live. Um, oh my God, my husband's in Elk Grove. So we have been really careful about not being around other people because of the virus but our daughter lost her car yesterday and she can't work without a car. And so my husband went to see if he could, if they, we could find a car for her. You can't walk away from your kids ever. I don't know if they're right or not. Somebody's gonna have to tell me. I'm sure I'll get feedback later. Um. That one's just not laying down. Where is that? Here. Let me see if I can get. The other one just laid right on there, but this one doesn't seem to be doing it. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Eh. How could one work and not the other? These damn nails don't help any. Hey, Serena, how are Serena? How are you? I'm doing I'm doing magnetic lashes, and I have no idea. It's the first time. I saw you do yours, and I thought I've got to do it. If you can do it, I can do it. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Do I have them on the wrong eyes? Oh, I don't think so. All right, try this again. Any suggestions? Oh, 
see if anybody... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it's not just me. Okay, I'm gonna put a little. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm, <laughs> the gods are not working with me today. Well, who would do this? I'm gonna give this a minute. I'm wondering if I'm. All right, this is like hair four. I did not. I waited until after I had my makeup on to answer your question. And so once I had my eyeshadow on, I put on one, one layer of this and then I had, um, I went further on and then I put another layer on and then I went to another level and I put another one on. So I've been pacing it, <laughs> but this one, I don't know that it's perfect, but it's on. So I'm going to fix this one with, I'll put a little mascara in here while I'm waiting for the other one to dry. And so my own lashes are up in there with it. I so want to wear lashes because I really don't have much. And though there was one other thing I wanted to do. Hold on a minute here. I want to add something a little bit more neutral under my eye. Um, that's, not, that's not it. That's it. So I'm going to use the same color I have for my brows. Let me clean this up. And I'm just going to put a little of that up here. Imagine doing all this in seven minutes with no tools. I mean, we all did it. How many, how many of us have gone through this? I don't think we're even through yet. Yeah, I like that better. All right. Has it been long enough yet? Oh, hearts. I'm so glad to hear from somebody. Thank you. I know you're laughing too, but that's okay. I can, I can deal with that. I'd rather have laughter. So you want to hear one last story so again I'm telling you we're working on our gym so when the members come back it's going to be oh I think that did it uh, it's going to be perfect and we've made lots of improvements God I'm hoping we, we do get to open anyway we contacted our contractor that remodeled our kitchen because we would need to put a drop ceiling in the back office all right, so anybody in here knows me personally, knows my circle of friends, you guys will really appreciate this story. Anyhow, so I contacted our contractor, his name is Ron, and he responded right back, would love to do the job for us, and he would get back in touch with us. So I, to I told Joe, I said, call him and set up an appointment, since you're already gonna be at the club with the carpet guy, I'm not, this is not working. I have to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Um, anyhow, so that you can meet with him. So Joe goes to his phone. I sent over Ron's number and he calls Ron and he makes the appointment. He goes over and meet the carpet guy and he's supposed to meet Ron. Ron doesn't show up. So he calls Ron again. Ron sets up another appointment, apologizes. He got distracted or he had enough, something come up. And I think I'm tired of screwing with this. Anyhow, and then he, so um, he went to, um, so he, Joe went to meet him at the next appointment. And when he came home, he said, well, he definitely will do the job. And he said, but I was shocked. I mean, he, he had a stroke and I was shocked how weak he was. And you know, he doesn't remember that he has sons. He thinks he has daughters. So I'm kind of worried about him. And so I was so concerned after hearing that, that I texted Ron's son. 
and I said, I'm so sorry to hear that you guys are dealing with this, the stroke. I hope, I hope everything's okay with your dad. Just wanted to let you know we're really excited about working with you. Um, anyhow, and uh, let it go at that. Then Joe tells me, oops, I called the wrong Ron. And the Ron that showed up is an old friend we haven't seen for years who's had a stroke. And he said, <laughs> Joe said, you know, we were so happy with the work you did on our kitchen because he just didn't recognize him. He said, we're so happy with the work you did on the kitchen that we really wanted to work with you on this project. And he said, yeah, yeah. So he agreed to everything. And he went through and he, he took, he knew the measurements, but he kept shocking Joe because he kept saying, I don't have sons, I have daughters. And I just got married and we thought, Ron was married. God, I hope nothing happened to his wife. So Joe, <laughs> Joe comes home and uh, I, after I send the email to Ron's son, Joe says, oh my God, guess what I did? Well, what? Called the wrong Ron. You gotta be kidding me. I sent this email to this guy's son and you talking to the wrong Ron? Ron? <laughs> So I just sent a message to, to his son and I said, call me, please call me. I don't think I can explain this in a text. And he called me and he said, I'm confused by all your messages. And I said, well, you know, I contacted you to do a job for us. And he said, yeah, dad told me that to contact you so we could set it up. <laughs> he said, I said, well, I'm sorry about you. But he had a stroke too, like your dad. And he said, my dad didn't have a stroke. He's been working with me all day. So I'm not sure how he got over to meet with Joe. Oh, God. So not only did we get the wrong person in there, uh, connected him to the wrong company, and now he's going to come back with a quote to do this job, uh, we've embarrassed ourselves by contacting the son and saying, we're so sorry to hear. <laughs> Thank God I didn't congratulate him on his marriage <laughs> because Ron had actually been away with his wife. So <laughs> um, I told Joe... I promise I won't talk about this on Facebook. I lie. I lie. <laughs> Anyhow, so the right Ron's going to come over. I'm going to actually go to make sure it is the right Ron. The fact that Joe didn't recognize him is hysterical. Anyhow, so I, this, this eyelash isn't right, but it, you can do so much. The eyelashes are not part of our product line. It is a challenge for me. Um... But I want you to know, whether you are 16 or 72, this product is going to be great for you. And the skincare is going to be great for you. And please, please help me with my business. And um, go to Kandu, K -A -N -D -O, beauty com. I'm that close, that close to a record. The other part of it is it all supports my gym that's all about women. And so you could be doing two good things. Well, three good things. It's a win-win-win. You're going to get a great product for yourself. The, the, um, you're going to be supporting a club that is specializes in supporting senior women. Actually, just women. Uh, and you'll be helping me hit my goal and slay station. I totally have to get a slay station. It's frivolous. I don't need it. I want it. So I got to have, you know, you got to have a, a, a dream board. I'm 72. My dream board doesn't have a house on it. I have a house. Doesn't have a husband on it. I have a husband. Doesn't have a car. I have a car. It could have a cruise ship, but the last time I went on a cruise, I broke my ankle. So I don't need that. But I do this so much, that would be such a great tool and it would bring me such joy. It really would. Help me get it, will you? All right, everybody that came in here, I want to thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you taking the time. Let me fix my hair a little bit if I can. And um, and then I'll let you guys go. Did you have lunch while we were doing this? I bet this is the longest live I've ever done in my whole life. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being here. You all take care. Stay well. Be safe.